What is up YouTube? Welcome to Panfro Games and in today's video we're going to be talking about how to get maximum friendship in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl for your Pokemon. Some people call friendship happiness but technically in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl it is called friendship in the game. So what is friendship anyway? Friendship in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl is a invisible stat that all your Pokemon have and the more that you use your Pokemon the more that they are in battle that if you walk with them or whatever their friendship will go up meaning that they'll get more special effects in combat as an example they could have a higher critical hit chance rate or if they are about to get knocked out by a move they'll hang on by one hp or uh the pokemon if you talk to them outside of battle they can actually be holding an item for you even without the pickup ability so there is a lot of uses to the friendship hidden stat however the most important part about the friendship hidden stat is some Pokemon can only evolve with high friendship. And this list here will show you all the Pokemon that evolve with high friendship. You may know that some Pokemon need high friendship and a daytime or nighttime setting to evolve. So Badoo into Roselia is going to be our daytime one. But however, another one will be Eevee into Umbreon will be nighttime. Eevee to Espeon will be daytime. So keep that in mind, especially with Eevee, because you don't want to accidentally get that max friendship and then level up and get the opposite of the EV evolution that you wanted. It has happened to me before, so just keep that in mind, the daytime settings of your game. So some of these Pokemon are gonna be incredible for competitive play. To point out Togepi and Togetic to get Togekiss is an incredible Pokemon. Espeon, Umbreon are fantastic. Riolu into Locario, also great. And Munchlax into Snorlax are also gonna be great. But of course, to complete your decks, you are gonna be needing to do some of these evolutions. So. This guide will show you how to do this as easily as possible, especially if you're trying to make a competitive team that know how stressful that can be at times. Step one is to get the friendship checker, which you can actually get at the Eternity City Pokemon Center. So when you talk to this lady here for the first time, she'll give you the friendship checker app, which you can see here all the Pokemon on my team. So if a Pokemon really likes you, you can hover over them and press A. And you can see there's two hearts coming off of my Gallade. That is the max happiness. There are levels to it so the pokemon we're actually trying to level up here and evolve is the munchlax so munchlax currently when i hold over him gives me no hearts a pokemon to evolve needs to have two small hearts to evolve and it can actually go all the way up to big hearts as you saw with Gallade. but for evolution purposes you just need two small hearts to show up so i would actually consider this first step as a step zero it is not necessary but it does make it a lot easier so if you caught your Pokemon that you're trying to level up, so we're trying to get our Munchlax to become a Snorlax. If you use a Luxury Ball, it will naturally just boost all the friendship points that the Munchlax would get if it was in a Luxury Ball. However, mine is not in a Luxury Ball, but if you are lucky enough to have caught the Pokemon that you want or have bred the Pokemon into a Luxury Ball, then this is going to make this process way faster for you. Another thing that you can very easily do is, one, make the Pokemon that you want to evolve with friendship one in your party and number two walk with them so when you're walking with the pokemon every step that you take will increase their friendship and doing this alone will take a while however this is a very nice passive boost especially while you're going off in the main game so if you let's say caught a pokemon at the very beginning of the game that evolves with some sort of friendship like a Badoo as an example will just immediately start walking it and the beauty is it doesn't need to be the first Pokemon in your party, but you just need to walk it so you can get that extra boost. Of course, another thing that you should be doing with the Pokemon that you are trying to evolve with friendship is you want to battle with the Pokemon, but you don't want it to faint. Fainting your Pokemon will make it so it hates you more and will lower the friendship. But if you use the Pokemon in battle and it does not faint, then you'll get a bonus to friendship. So we are actually on route to 12 right now, and we're going to go to another very important step. And we're on route to 12 in the Pokemon Mansion. The Pokemon Mansion, we're going to want to hit the left side here. And in one of these rooms is going to be made. And this is actually the room with the correct maid. So we want to talk to her, and she can actually give us the Soothe Bell. If this, you've already gotten it from her, she'll only give you one. But I've already picked it up, so she didn't give it to me there. So this bell is a necessary item. It will increase the amount of friendship that our Pokemon will be getting when they are holding it. 
So here's the bell. An item to be held by a Pokemon. The comforting chime of this bell claim comes a holder, making it friendly. So we're going to be giving this to Munchlax first in our party. So anything we apply to Munchlax now to increase its friendship will now get an additional boost. Another super easy and free thing that you can do to get your friendship boosted is to have your daily massage. So there's actually two, which is why I said massages. So there is one available before the post game and there's one available in the post game. So the very easy one is going to Veilstone City and you just gotta go around the city here. And this is a once a day event. So every 24 hours and no, you cannot change your switch time to make it so that, oh, you can get another massage. So you wanna go into this house here and there's gonna be this lady right here and we're gonna talk to her. And she's like, oh, is your Pokemon tired? Well, sure, we can give a massage. So we're gonna be like, yes. So we're gonna select the Pokemon that you want the massage. So we're gonna be selecting our Munchlax here. And now we got a pretty big boost. You also get a sticker as well. So if you're into stickers, well, definitely do it just for the stickers. But hey, you also get a nice massage. However, there is a second one that you can access in the post game, which is available in the resort area. So you wanna fly over to the resort area and it's at the Ribbon Syndicate. However, the only way to enter the Ribbon Syndicate building is you need to have 10 ribbons already. So this is the building right here. However, I will not be able to get in because I do not have 10 ribbons. You can earn contest ribbons by one, winning contests or getting your daily ribbon. The Ribbon Syndicate's friendship boost is a lot bigger than the Veilstone one, but they can stack on top of each other. So you can get the Pokemon you're working on to get two massages a day, which is gonna be incredibly helpful in making this process as fast as possible and as free as possible. At the moment, the process has been free. But we do have a couple other ways that can require some money. So we can actually use berry. And some berries actually increase the happiness of Pokemon. So we are looking at a couple berries here. So these berries have two effects. So the couple berries in here are used for competitive play to fix a Pokemon's EV stats. EVs stand for effort values. If you don't want to play competitive, you don't really need to care about this. However, if you are playing competitive Pokemon, then this is important. I would do this before the next step with vitamins. So if I was to use this berry on my Munchlax, it would lower its HP EV, which are secret bonus stats, but it also makes the Pokemon more friendly. So this is going to be great to use on a Pokemon if one, their EVs are messed up and you want to fix their EV so you can make them to a perfect Pokemon. Or two, if you just want to increase your happiness. And maybe sometimes you want to do both. So let's say special attack. But Snorlax is not a special attacker. We don't really care. We want to make sure that special attack is low as possible if you care about competitive. So if we use this on the Munchlax, we lose one berry. Munchlax became more friendly and a special attack base points fell. So we can actually use another one on it, right? and it can't go any lower. So that means its special attack EV stat is at the lowest possible it can ever go, which means the EV is at zero, but the Munchlax also become more friendly to us. So that's really great. I do recommend doing EV berries on any Pokemon before you start uh, messing around with them and trying to get them to be perfect, because you may never know that you may have, you know, accidentally used the Pokemon in battle before and have messed up their EV. So that's, as a competitive player, just keep a note of that. But yeah, so we have also now just increased our Munchlax's happiness very easily. You can get these berries from across the map and then you can plant a berry. And then when the berry comes back in about a day or two, then you get twice the berries. You can also buy some of these berries later in the game too, especially in the post game areas. You have a lot more of these berries showing up. And the last method to increase your Pokemon's happiness is to use a lot of money and buy vitamins. However, vitamins will also make your Pokemon great for competitive play. So not only are you going to be getting them ready to evolve, you'll be getting them ready with maximum EVs. So in order to get vitamins, one, you can find them in throughout the game. But the best way is to have a lot of money, go to the second floor of the Veilstone department store, talk to this lady here. She will sell us all the EV items from protein, iron, calcium, zinc, carbo, HP up. They all do the same thing in terms of uh, increasing your friendship but they all increase different stats. 
I have a whole video going to EV training stuff, so please check that out if you want a way more in detail uh, answer about what to EV train in your Pokemon. But for Munchlax and the Snorlax, we're going to be going HP up and protein because we're a physical attacker, so we want protein for that attack. HP up because we have a big HP bar, and HP is just a great general defensive that to use, especially if you don't want to commit just a defense or special defense. So that's what I recommend for someone like Snorlax. So you want to have 25 or 26 vitamins in your Pokemon per two of the uh, vitamin, which is what I mean here is you want 25 or 26 proteins, 25, 26 HP ups. You only want to do this with two of them because you cannot do it for all six. You can only have max of two EVs worked into your Pokemon. You can have a mix match, but you can only have enough points to max two of them. So because we already have five, I am just going to be buying 20 of these. And as you can see, these are very expensive already. So if you were to get to 25 or 26, you're spending a quarter of a million. So if you wanted to max a Pokemon, it was really going to take you a million dollars to do four Pokemon, which is going to be pretty crazy. So we're just going to be buying 20 here because I already have uh, five. So we just got that. And then we're going to be putting all of those into our Munchlax. Of course, you can be doing that with other ones as well. So you don't have to necessarily buy the ones I just bought. And they're going to be in our, uh, I believe there are other items tab. And it should be towards the top here if you have sorted. So 25, go to Munchlax, go all the way down to use them all. And Munchlax is now at a max attack. And of course, we can use some, some other things. So if you want to use some HP ups on him as well, we have two. So our Munchlax is going to like us a lot more now, which is going to be great. However, like I said, this takes a lot of money and it is slower, but just battling Pokemon is going to be really helpful too. So from everything that you have seen on the video so far, I popped one rare candy into my Munchlax and we are now already evolving. So if you do everything I just did in the video, you'll very easily get your Pokemon to evolve with high friendship. So we're about to get that Snorlax here, which is going to be incredible. I am sure that you don't have to use as many vitamins as what I use just to get your Pokemon to evolve, but I don't have the exact number off the top of my head. And different Pokemon do have different base happiness values. So some Pokemon are going to take more work than others. I do believe uh, Riolu is one of those Pokemon that does not start with any base happiness uh, friendship when you actually get it. So keep that in mind. Well, guys, I hope this video was really helpful for you. Hopefully you can get all your Pokemon to evolve with high friendship. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe to the channel. Catch you guys next time. Peace out and have a great one.